Hold on a minute, man. I want to pop into this shop to buy something. Okay, I'll wait for you here then. So, what do you buy? I didn't. I mean, the shop didn't have what I wanted. Oh no, Zam. Is that what I think it is? Is it a... Packet of cigarettes? You bought cigarettes? Why? Uh, no, I mean, it's not mine. I bought it for someone else. Who? As far as I know, no one in your family smokes. And if you don't tell me the truth now, I'm gonna have to tell your mother about this. You're my best friend, and I don't want to see you throw your life away like this. Please don't tell my mother. She'll kill me. I I'm sorry, I mate. I've got to go now. I have a lot of work to do at home. I'll see you at Ben's place tomorrow. Zam. Zam. Hey, Amir. Hey, Zam. Hey, what's the matter, Amir? Is there something wrong? Have you two been quarreling again? Zam. Shh. Don't say anything. Please. I... I caught him buying cigarettes and I'm very disappointed. What? You bought cigarettes? I'm sorry. I did buy them. But I don't smoke. The cigarettes were for Jason. What? Jason, our classmate? Your neighbor smokes? Yeah, but this is the first time ever that I've helped him buy cigarettes. But you are under 18. It's wrong for you to buy cigarettes. You could get arrested and fined. What you did was wrong, you know. Even if you do not smoke, you shouldn't support others who do. Jeez, I hope you never do it again. Zam, do you know what a cigarette contains? It contains 4,000 chemical substances and 60 of them can cause cancer. And the main one is carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide makes it difficult for the blood to carry oxygen to the heart. And brain. Smoking is so bad, it affects the way that your body functions. I mean, you could have stopped smoking years ago, but the damage is already done. You cannot change it. That's why people should not start smoking. Hey, look at this. It says that smoking is dangerous to health, but the effects are immediate. Hey Leila, do you know where a smoker will feel the effects? Yes, I do. I just read that a while ago. What is it again? Uh, ah yes, a smoker who has quit smoking for 10 years will still have a 30% until 50% risk of getting lung cancer. That is how bad smoking is. Not only that, smokers are seeking drugs for hypertension, heart disease, tuberculosis, pneumonia, influenza, bronchitis, asthma, and breathing problems. Boy, oh boy, what have I done? I don't like smoking either, but Jason is such a good friend. When he asked me to do him a favor, I just couldn't say no. Sometimes, it's good to say no. You have to be cruel to be kind, sometimes. I'm sure you do not want Jason to end up with all those smoking-related diseases, do you? Of course not, but people sell cigarettes everywhere. Even the shopkeepers don't say anything if I tell them that I'm buying the cigarettes for someone else. In fact, students from our school buy cigarettes almost every day. I mean, it's so easy for students to get cigarettes now. Yeah, you're right. People will do anything for money, even if it means breaking the law. Oh, I don't know. How do we discourage young people from smoking? How do we get them to stop? How do I get Jason to stop his smoking habit? He smokes about 5 cigarettes a day, you know? I think we need to raise the price of cigarettes. It may be the best way to prevent most teenagers from buying them. A joint study between the University of Illinois and the University of Michigan's Institute for Social Research in the US matched price hikes with teen smoking rates over 6 years. And what did they find? Well, they found that a 10% price increase brought down the number of children who started to smoke from between 3% and 10%. Who do you think should be blamed for the rise in smoking among students? 
Hmm, I don't know that. Uh. Maybe there's nobody to blame but the smokers themselves. The government has carried out so many complaints to corrupt smoking among students, but maybe it has to start at home. I guess if parents smoke, then it is almost certain that their children will follow in their footsteps, right? I agree. But then, what about the non-smoking parents who have children that smokes? Hmm, I never thought of that. I guess there's more to it than that. Sometimes, students smoke because of peer pressure. You have to be really careful when choosing a friend to hang around with. Why do students smoke? Um, I think um, teenagers nowadays uh, got influence from their friends. So that's why they're smoking and um, Sometimes they, they are under depression, so they want to release their tension by smoking. Some of them at home, their parents or their relatives, the adults um, around them, they smoke, they don't have a very good role model. Okay, this first of all. Secondly, um, they will feel that um, this is like style or, you know, uh, um, they are an adult by uh, smoking. Students nowadays they smoke uh, for the sake of I would say because of trend, the influence of friends and also the parents, you know, when they see their dad or mom smoking, they tend to follow their footsteps. After being advised by Ben and Amir, Zam realised that he should stop buying cigarettes for Jason. He also decided to talk to Jason and tell him about the dangers of smoking. He wants to help Jason quit his bad habit. Zam also decided to come up with an action plan to help Jason. He wrote down the reasons why he thought Jason should quit. He wrote about the importance for Jason to have the willpower to quit smoking. He asked Jason to picture himself as a happy and healthy adult without hypertension heart and lung problems and other smoking related diseases. He showed it to Ben, Ami, Leila and Aisha. They agreed. Then, he set a time frame for Jason to quit. But the most important thing that he wrote in the plan was that he would be there for Jason to help and support him all the way. Jason did. He gave up smoking and now is a happier and healthier boy. Okay, let's not follow the trend, okay? Just uh, by smoking to show that you're an adult. There are many ways to show that you're an adult. For those who want to start to smoke, I think um, you might think that this is your freedom. But do you know that once you've started to smoke, you sometimes you don't actually have the freedom to choose to not to smoke again because you've edited. I think for parents, uh, um, as an adult, do not have a right to say that, hey, this is what the adult can do and you, the kids, can't do. Okay, parents should have a very good role model, role model at home uh, to show it to the kids that, uh, okay, this is what you, um, kids, can't do and I myself would do it.
we use the simple present tense to talk about what people do all the time, sometimes, or never at all. In other words, this tense is used to talk about habitual actions. We can also use the simple present tense to describe things that are always true and cannot change. We call these things universal truths. Let's look at some examples of how the simple present tense was used by Ben and his friends in the program. I want to pop into this shop to buy something. It contains 4,000 chemical substances and 60 of them can cause cancer. Carbon monoxide makes it difficult for the blood to carry oxygen to the heart. He smokes about five cigarettes a day, you know. Here are some of the words that you heard Ben and his friends use when they spoke to one another. Listen carefully to how they are pronounced. Smokers, smokers, quarreling, quarreling, disappointed, disappointed, diseases, diseases, discourage, discourage. to cigarettes. They are no good for you. There are so many other healthy and helpful things that you could spend your money on. One more thing before we wrap. Here's some bad news for those of you who like sports and smoke as well. Tobacco contains nicotine which narrows your blood vessels and strains your heart. Smoking reduces the oxygen needed by muscles during sports. Smokers suffer shortness of breath almost three times more often than non-smokers. Smokers run slower and can run as far as non-smokers. Alright, that's enough of trying to scare you for now. Let's wrap. Okay, first off, activate your Internet Explorer by clicking on the icon. Then, type in your keyword into the search engine and wait for a response. Aha! Wow, so many websites on smoking. Let's look for one. This one, no. This one looks better. Wait, I think we'll check this one out. For your information, the first two pictures contrast healthy lungs against a cancerous pair. The human body can live for weeks without food, days without water, but 
only a few minutes without oxygen can cause death. It's just a click away. Oh yes, one more thing for you to consider. Just in case you decide to smoke anyway, after all that I've said. Tobacco smoke can make your hair and clothes stink. You may lose your friends, and it would be very embarrassing for you if people were to cover their noses every time you go near them. Tobacco stains your teeth and causes bad breath. That will make you look very ugly, and people will start to avoid you because of your bad breath. map what we know about smoking. Why students smoke? Because their parents smoke. Because of their surroundings. Peer pressure. Effects of smoking. Bronchitis. Pneumonia Lung cancer Influenza Asthma Cigarettes 4,000 chemicals Including Carbon monoxide Nicotine Tar Say that not to smoking. 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 Say no to smoking. Say that not to smoking. Say that not to smoking. Remember, cigarettes contains 4,000 chemical substances and at least 60 of them can cause cancer. Please don't learn to smoke. Stay as far away as you can from cigarettes. There is no way that it can do any good to you. Love and respect your mind and your body. Say Tatna, Tatna, Tatna. Okay, see you in the next series. Bye. <laughs>